Alicia with Happily Ever After Living and as you can tell from the title of this video, I wanted to share with you guys my dress shopping experience with a 43, almost 45 pound weight loss difference. So before I start this video, I just want to say that this is not a body shaming video at all. Like this is not even, like I'm not shaming anyone else's body, but I also want you guys to know that I'm not shaming my previous body either. Like I was happy then, I am happy now. I know sometimes when you click on a weight loss video, you know, you hear the person talk about like how unhappy they were then. And I know like everyone's story is different, but that is not my story. So I don't want you guys like to feel sorry for me or anything like that. If anything, be happy for me because part of what I want to do is like encourage you guys, those of you that have decided to take control of your health and like start your journeys. I just want to inspire you guys and encourage you guys and you know, just root you on so that you will keep going as well. So I wanted to share with you guys, um, this past weekend I went shopping for a dress. Um, I have an upcoming event. Um, we are going to a quinceada. I always pronounce that wrong. I don't know if it's like, is it quince or quinceada? 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 <laughs> Anyways, we're going to an event this, um, this weekend and I like to plan my weeks the week before and I already had a dress in which I thought I would wear I would actually share it with you guys here it's the red dress that I've worn I wore it um, last year like for all the holiday parties and I also wore it when my husband and I went on a cruise so it was a banging dress in my opinion I thought it would be perfect however I tried that dress on this weekend and you guys it is way too big like it actually looks frumpy now so I was like, uh oh, now what? Like, do I have time to take it to get altered? Like that was my first thought process. But I was like, you know what? I'll just run out and I'll go to Marshall's and see if they have something that I can buy off of the rack. So first I went to Ross and I didn't find anything there. I live in a small town, so there's not a lot of places to shop here. Then I went to Marshall's and I did find a dress. And I also want to tell you guys that I did not budget to buy a dress. So whatever dress I was picking up was going to come out of the food budget. <laughs> so yeah, so I found a dress. It was $49.99, but I wasn't loving it. And I'll share the picture with you guys here. Also, I want to add that I did not plan on sharing any of these pictures. So when you see the pictures and I'm not smiling, like don't try to judge like how I was feeling based off the dress because I was just really taking these pictures like just for me. They were not for anyone else except for like I don't know if you guys have girlfriends that you send pictures to and you're like yeah which one of these dresses look best so other than that like these pictures were not meant for socials or my YouTube channel at all so I wasn't really in love with the dress I felt like it was just okay but I didn't feel like it was fitting for the event so I showed it to my husband and I told him and he's like why don't you just go get a dress that you you love in case you guys don't know I I am I'm pretty frugal I don't enjoy spending money if I don't have to so it took a little bit of convincing and I was like, fine, I'll just go. So I went ahead and I drove like an hour away from where we live and I went to a department store and I decided, fine, let me just go ahead and try on some dresses. Keep in mind, I was not planning to try on dresses that day. So I don't have on like the proper undergarments at all. As a matter of fact, I was in workout clothes and I think I had a sports bra that I just ripped off. Okay, first what I wanna share with you guys, let's go back to last year. Let's go back to these pictures that I'm gonna share with you. They're from May 23rd, 2021. I started my weight loss journey on May 24th, 2021. Now, I would love to say that I saw these pictures and I was like, I'm gonna change my life. No, that was not it. I already knew when I would start my weight loss journey because when I was shopping for these dresses, it was for our daughter's graduation and also a back baccalaureate. Okay, thumbs up this video if you like mispronounce words that you don't say often. <laughs> So the first time you're like, did that sound right? It was for a baccalaureate um, service for graduation as well as I needed a dress for graduation. And there were just like a, other, a few more award ceremonies that I needed dresses for. So when I tried on dresses, here are some of the looks of what those dresses look like. I'm gonna share them with you guys here. And keep in mind, I'm wearing a mask. We were still deep in the pandemic. Um, and yeah, so like I didn't really find anything that I was like, crazy about but I was like fine I'll just make it work and you guys again I will say I know that you can find banging plus size dresses like from other places but again I've, I've shared with you guys I am really frugal like I'm frugal and I don't typically dress up a lot 
So if I'm not at the place where I want to or care to spend an extensive amount of money for a dress that I'm probably only gonna wear just a few times. So as I was shopping for these dresses, I was thinking, okay, find something that you can continue to wear to church. Like that was my mindset at the time. So these dresses that I'm sharing with you guys, they were ranging in size from about 16, 18, and 14 in sizes. But I will say I went up a little bit because I was just like a little uncomfortable with them being too fitted at the time. You guys know I have had my fibroids removed and at that point, like I had had the fibroids removed but I hadn't started working on myself at all. So you can see like in the pictures here, I'm not trying to like hide anything from you guys. You can see like where my abdomen is still pretty protruded in like a lot of these pictures. So I wanted to share those with you guys. And now, and now I want to talk to you guys about my most recent dress experience. You guys, shopping for a dress this past weekend was so easy, so easy. It was almost a little overwhelming. Like... If I was one of those people that felt themselves about to cry and turn on the camera real quick, that would have been great footage, but that's not me. Like, if you ever see tears on this channel, it's because it just kind of like happened in the moment. But I literally sat down in the dressing room, like after I tried on all of these dresses, and I just felt so overwhelmed and I wanted to just sit in that moment and feel it like for myself. I can tell you guys this was the first time that I had gone in and tried on formal dresses. Ladies, you know what I'm talking about. Most formal dresses are not forgiving and most formal dresses require you to go a size up and then alter down. My ladies know what I'm talking about. So as I was walking around and I'm looking at the different dresses and I'm trying to decide because this event is for a king say. So I'm like, okay, what do I wanna wear? What looks do I want? And I just started choosing dresses that were like calling out to me. Like, oh, I feel like this will look nice, this will look nice. And the last dress that I purchased um, for a family member's birthday party, it was a size 12, but it was a stretch. Like that girl was like, she was given life. There's actually a video here on the channel about it. So that's been a few months. So I was like, what size do I think I am now? And I was like, I'm just going to be bold. I'm going with a size 12. And these are like 12s without the stretch. So, oh my gosh. All right. So you guys, I'm going to share with you. Here are the dresses that I tried on. I'm not going to show you the dress that I actually chose. You'll see that in either Sunday or Monday's video next week. But you guys, I tried these dresses on straight off, like straight off the racks. And this is what they were looking like. I was blown away. And keep in mind, there is no shapewear. Like I'm not wearing shapewear. I'm not wearing undergarments. Like these dresses just, oh. I couldn't believe it like literally like I didn't need to have anything altered and it's been a really long time since I've had that experience and I just really enjoyed it and I don't know it was a vibe it was a total vibe and I just wanted to share that with you guys I guess I forgot what it felt like to be able to just pick clothes directly off the shelf off the rack and for them to just automatically fit I think I forgot what that felt like. And I think I had almost like just kind of convinced myself that like nothing comes fitted for everyone. I don't know. And I still think that like I still think that, you know, even with the dress that I chose, I could have. Oh, speaking of the dress that I chose, it could be altered down a little bit. But because I am doing intermittent fasting and I'm going to save my meal for that event, I need to allow room for my belly, for my food belly to grow. So I'm not gonna have it altered down. But, um, so I'm gonna go back and show you guys what my dresses look like May 23rd, 2021, and what they currently look like um, here, November 5th, 2022. So, yeah, that's all I have for this video. You guys know I'm still currently on this 100 pound weight loss journey. I still have 60 plus pounds to go. 
um i'm extremely motivated i'm very happy i'm excited i can't wait to see where i land like that is so exciting but i just wanted to encourage you guys that are currently on your weight loss your wellness journeys um just keep going you know and sometimes like the scale doesn't move it just doesn't budge but like look at moments like this that's why i really encourage everyone to take pictures even if they're pictures that you never mean or have intentions to share just keep them for yourself um but if you just look at like the pictures like there's such a change so the dresses that i tried on um this weekend were size 12 and then there was also a junior's dress um size large um but yeah like some of them like the one the black dress i think I probably could have gone down to a size 10, but in my mind, you know, you gotta work around that mindset too because you still see yourself as a certain size even though you're kind of shrinking. But yeah, I don't wanna drag this video on too much longer. I just really wanted to share this experience with you guys. As promised, my plan is to share with you guys both the ups and downs of this weight loss journey. This is definitely, it's an up, it's a positive, and I'm so excited for it. I will absolutely love it if you guys will subscribe to the channel so that you can follow the rest of this journey and maybe even go back and catch up on some of the old videos to see where I've come from because I'm not stopping. My plan is to continue going until I smash this goal. So yeah, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.